sometimes it's the subjects you know most that will give you the most grief into trying to explain them or turning them into something which is inspiring for people to follow. So today's vlog is about geodesic domes and here we are inside one. I'm just about to just talk a bit about what geodesic domes are and how they inspire me. Geodesic domes are structures such as this one I'm sitting inside right today. They've got a certain mathematical configuration of triangulations, these triangles that you see at the back of my head, which in turn they form hexagons, and these hexagons patched together or put together, they form this nice dome figure, which then have different forms of shells that is put on top of them. This one, such as this one, is a plastic. So it's just like a tent. The beauty though of these geodesic domes is that they can be put up anywhere in very little time. So there is a possibility of providing shelter, which is hurricane proof, wind proof, earthquake proof, in practically everywhere where you can get a flat surface. So it gives us the ability to provide something which is quite comfortable once you put it together for anywhere anyone in the world, where there's people that are homeless, people that have just gone through some sort of um, natural or unnatural disaster, or man-made disaster. So you can provide housing for people, which is quite harmonious. The beauty of it is that like, when you're inside one, you really feel like you're inside this beautiful bubble, which for me, it resembles being inside a womb or being inside a nest of some sort, being inside the seed. Nature's way of preserving life, of holding the energy of life until it's ready to be sprouted or to be born again is inside the womb, is inside the nut, is inside the shell, is inside the seed. The beauty of the geodesic dome is that it's somehow copying that, it's somehow conserving that energy for whoever is inside it. And another form of copying something which is coming, the pattern that's coming out of nature, is the hexagon. The hexagon is something that we see in a lot of forms in nature as well. Just to give you one, when bees form their hive, when bees form their home, they've got all these hexagons put together in which they store their honey, their propolis, um, in which they put their larvae inside and so on. So, just a brief history about geodesic domes. This genius coming from America, and he was very popular in the 1950s, 60s, and then had a big following in the 70s. His name was Buckminster Fuller, or better known as Bucky. He was quite an intense genius. He had a lot to say. Um, some people would find it very difficult to follow him because of his way of conversing and going on for hours and hours and hours. In fact, some lectures went on for about 11 hours. But he actually popularized the geodesic dome. And for him, it was this expert idea, which I'm just talking about. His idea was that he wanted to have housing for everybody in the world, so no one would go homeless. He had other inventions as well, such, such as a special car called the Dimexian car which um, one can find easily on the internet. But today, we're just talking about the domes. And what I've actually done with the dome so far is that we've used this as a space to hold workshops, to inspire people, to have people stay inside and even sleep for some days inside and to have the feeling of what it's like to be inside one of these out in nature. And it's beautiful to actually have that space. I think we're really lucky to be able to do that. Our next research part of a geodesic dome is how to actually design one which would have a living roof. A dome that will act as a shelter but at the same time have a skin on the outside that is also interacting completely with nature, giving a fabric that's alive that's providing a space for nature to be part of as well. And this is where we're going next. Yeah,